Hey, we've seen black holes fire jets, stars explode, and the invisible scaffolding of the cosmic web. But now we're looking at the ultimate force of destruction and creation on the grandest scale, galactic cannibalism. This is the brutal process where larger galaxies mercilessly consume smaller ones to become the massive cosmic cities we see today. Forget stability. Galaxies are constantly moving, driven by the relentless pull of gravity. When galaxies get close, the force of gravity begins a dramatic tug of war. If a large galaxy encounters a smaller, less massive dwarf galaxy, the gravity of the big galaxy starts to stretch and rip apart the smaller one. Think of it like a cosmic bully tearing a pillow apart. The smaller galaxies' stars, gas, and dark matter are pulled away and stretched into long, visible streams called tidal tails. These streams wrap around the larger galaxy, becoming permanently incorporated into its structure. Our own home, the Milky Way, is a successful cannibal, currently eating several dwarf galaxies to thicken its disk over billions of years. But sometimes, two galaxies of roughly equal size collide. This is called a major merger. In about four or five billion years, our Milky Way will collide with our neighbor, the Andromeda Galaxy. Despite the dramatic name, most stars do not crash. The universe is too empty. However, the massive gravitational disturbance causes huge chaos. The clouds of gas and dust collide violently, triggering a massive explosive burst of star formation. Meanwhile, the supermassive black holes at the center of each galaxy spiral closer and eventually merge into one gigantic black hole. The end result is usually a new, single, larger, and often elliptical galaxy, round and red, having used up most of its cold gas in the dramatic starbursts. So, galactic cannibalism is the most destructive and constructive process in the universe. It's a brutal, slow-motion dance that reshapes the entire large-scale cosmos, and it's the future of our own home. Pretty wild, right?